Okay, I'm going to do a review on um, AirPods Pro 2, second gen. Um, this is the one with the uh, MagSafe, and it's fake, uh, but it's a really, really good fake. Everything is almost down to very, very small, if, if not insufficient, that you could tell if it is fake or not. Look at the, the fonts are just exactly like um, the original. Even the tips. But the odd thing is that I think the tips are all one size versus being extra small, small, and large. The pamphlets all looks pretty similar. The wrapping, except for this, is plastic versus some kind of um, hot paper. Um, lining this is the lightning um, type C to lightning and look at the back, back I kid you not this we even have the Apple tape um, that is taped on but when you rip it it doesn't have the perf perfect rip off like the uh, original or the real uh, Apple products but I mean, you could get this online for maybe $60, $70. And guess what? The sound quality is 80% to this, to the real one. So look at the back. David made a copy of it with the button. And I'm actually recording this with the AirPods on. So the AirPods, you can't tell. Look, the light. I People say it's darker or lighter. I think it's the same. But I don't have the original to prove. Look, look inside. It's copied to almost a perfection. And uh, from the sound quality, almost sound exactly identical. Like I said, this is the lightning port. And people also said that you could tell by if this is plastic or steel. I really can't tell if this is. Um, I can't tell if it's plastic or is it state of steel or aluminum. But the weight is also pretty uh, close to the original. And um, the only difference you could tell from this is if this was, uh, if you tap on the earbuds over here, you tap on it, it will make a sound, but it doesn't do any. Uh, it doesn't doesn't do any ANC. It doesn't active noise cancel anything out. However, uh, oh, and also to find my iPhone or find my device is not accurate. However, it does the whole animation. It looks like it registers with them, uh, with um, Apple I, um, Apple Store, and it gives you like a two year, two year warranty, which is doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, one year warranty. From the date that you activate the the fake device, but you cannot bring it to uh, the Apple Store to get a replacement because it's not real. The second you um, uh, the second they they uh, log it in uh, because your serial number would not be active on the database. However, they still could get by, and, and it looks like the real deal. Um, I wish I could uh, show you on uh, if you want to find out how that looks like uh, the animation um, you can look at any video that has it however this one like I said it is um, I would say 90% if it was sound quality is 80-90% and the voice um, the mic is also about 80% accuracy to the real thing to the real deal However, if you get this fake one, it will cost you about 60, 70 bucks. You could get it online. Uh, there's quite a few of them that are, uh, this will be almost a, um, like the A class versus the C class that you could find elsewhere. Also, here's the first gen fake ones. Oh my God, it is so flimsy. It doesn't even close right. This is the, second gen um i say a stock of the fake one look it, the closing is even better 
Uh, the yeah, this looks feels flimsy and it's light, even with the earbuds. This one, it's got a must have a bigger battery inside versus the other one, versus the old one. But um, this one feels should feels like the second gen. I don't have one, can't afford it. Maybe that's why I went to buy the wannabe fake one. Um, but if you if you don't use ANC and you don't really care about the find my feature and you want to save over 175 bucks on this this latest iteration of the fake uh, AirPods Pros second gen max save with the lightning um, uh, lightning from type C charging is uh, is a good deal it's doable is good enough for a lot of everyday use are uh, the functions all work so swipe up is to hide a value swipe down to lower the volume you know you long press is supposed on your right ear supposed to change from ANC to transparent to none or off uh, it does all that but it's just don't because there's no chip in there to do it but they did program it into the software of the earbuds um, other than that uh, it's it, you could control next song, double double tap, triple tap to um, you know um, to go backwards, and I would say it's a good it's it's good for people on a budget and that wants a lot of uh, the iPhone functions. So this I'm using it on an um, Android Galaxy right now, but if you use this on an iPhone, it's almost seamless. I would say is uh, if you want to save a couple of bucks, you get eighty percent, ninety percent of the quality of the sound. Uh, 80% of the, the talk um, when you get on a kind of phone call. Uh, other than that, I don't see any other gripe with it. And the battery lasts just as long as the real one. That's why, hence, the, the heaviness on it. All right, hit me up if you have any questions.